So Ryan Orbone and uh, Jenny Bono, both members of the KPA and board members of the KPA, thanks so much for uh, for sitting down with me. So we just wanted to talk a little bit about um, something that I'm hoping our viewers have seen on our social media pages or even driving through Killington. Um, it's the it's hashtag one Killington, and uh, you know a lot of this came out of um, a little bit of adversity, but just wanting to unite the community. And Ryan, I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of Tee you up and, and give you the opportunity to, to talk a little bit about that, how um, the, the idea or the mindset of, of hashtag one Killington came about. Well, you said it best. You know, we're we're dealing with uh, a situation right now that's a challenge mm -hmm. for everybody, and we wanted to come together and 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 come together as a community. And whether that was uh, for people that that live here or work here or vacation here or aspire to be here, uh, just being clear about the message that we in fact are all one Killington. Um, I wasn't the one who came up with the, the one Killington idea though. I mean, the concept was there uh, as a group, but, but Jenny was the one that, that came up with one Killington. And I think that's a really strong, positive message um, that, that we've been able to uh, um, portray and facilitate and, and execute on a, on a large scale so far. Jenny, I think you, when we were talking before, we were talking about that, you know, we kind of have a big tent here in, in Killington. We have a lot of different type of residents and, and type of people um, that are here. And I'll just give you a moment to maybe expand upon that. Um, well, I mean, our community certainly isn't defined by the borders of the town itself. You know, we have so many people who vacation here, have second homes here, um, visit here, and, you know, they're the lifeblood behind a lot of our businesses and organizations. They, they keep us going. They, they, I don't want to say keep us excited, but um, we work together to, to keep Killington very special in everyone's hearts. Um, and, and sort of the idea behind the suggestion with one Killington is, you know, like you're, you're not a, a second homeowner from Killington. You're not a resident of Killington. You're not born and raised in Killington. We're, we all, ha we're here under that one unifying love of this mountain and this town and, and the community and the people within it. So it just seemed kind of like a no brainer to, for that to be the phrase um, under which our efforts kind of fall. So as our group, our communications committee kind of got together and wanted to push the positive, uh, both of you were definitely playing toward your strengths. And, and Ryan, one of the things that I'll call it a project that came out of this was a teacher uh, contest. And um, why don't you talk a, tell our folks a little bit about, again, the concept with that and the plans and, and where we're at with this t-shirt contest? Well, I thought that it was a fun way to engage everybody and, and, and have them feel like they were a part of, um, you know, the process. And, uh, you know, we've already started the track of, of, of healing and, and, and starting to, at least in, in our minds, uh, mindset, starting to get back to a place of normalcy. And so the t-shirt design contest, um, came about as a way for us to uh, raise some money for um, people within the community, whether they work for the mountain and they're the lifties or the, the folks who are our bartenders or our servers at the restaurants or anyone that's been impacted directly um, from the pandemic, um, a fun, interesting, engaging way uh, for people to um, raise money towards this. So we, we've now, um, we're one day away from, from having our winner selected uh, for the t-shirt contest. And I wouldn't call it a viral sensation, but the engagement has been unbelievable. We had 50 submissions. We narrowed it down to four finalists. The championship vote is going on today. And the winning design is going to be put on uh, Till I Die Garments. Um, and uh, they're, they're going to go for sale uh, starting on Friday. Um, and I've got a goal in, in my head to raise twenty thousand um, dollars for the community from this from this uh, this effort, um, and, and I think we can. And, and that's a fun way for us to get involved. Um, and uh, you know, I love the creativity, um, you know, and the excitement behind the entire process so far. So I mean, really a triple threat, you know, uh, trying to remain positive, uh, tapping into. The, uh, the creativity that, that is in our community and outside of our community, as well as raising, uh, as well as raising some money. So, I, I mean, it, it, it's, it's just awesome. And plays to your strength, Ryan, and you had mentioned it, your company Till I Die, which does a ton of apparel, lifestyle, 
uh, brand. And so what you did to step up and really help make this possible and to push it through your channels is great. I think it's kind of funny because <laughs> regardless of, of the fundraising efforts that are coming out of this, how many parents emailed me with their, their children, their kids' submissions? Like, thank you so much. This took my kid three days to do. They didn't think about anything else. And so I'm like, all right, well, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a nice added distraction too. Um, and so that I thought was really funny because I can only imagine what it's like. And, and Mike, I know, you know, you've got a little one at home. What it's like having a kid. 24-7 yeah. during all this so anything that we could do to help and so another thing that we wanted to do um, all around uh, you know other communities in the state and I'm sure across the country is we're seeing lawn signs popping up to just remind people of some of the CDC uh, recommendations about washing your hands social distancing and so um, you know the group wanted to come up with our own for, for the Killington area we kind of put a twist on it and Jenny Again, playing to your strengths, you do um, design work, marketing um, for the car group, and you helped create some really fun and, and eye-catching and, and trendy uh, lawn signs. Oh, those are all the committee's ideas. I just brought them to life. I <laughs> can't take credit from uh, the concepts necessarily, but, you know, um, it is a serious topic, but I think, you know, we tried to have a little bit of fun with it. Um, the bear is the example that kind of comes out, you know, I mean, we have a sense of humor here and, you know, while we are dealing with very serious topics um, and we're all in a very serious situation, we can kind of play on that uh, the lighter side of things and, you know, try to put a smile on people's faces. So hopefully we were able to do that. With so I was going to try to pull up uh, a couple of those pictures um, mm -hmm. and, I'm afraid, and I'm afraid I'll disconnect everybody if I, if I try to do that. So I, I, I will, I will say on my post when I do it, I'll put some of the, um, the pictures of the signs up there. Hey, hey. But, but there's <laughs> one with a bear, uh, social distancing, a bear chasing on somebody, uh, you know, stay one bear away, stay uh, uh, ski length away, stay, stay a gondola away. Just something that is really Killington centric and it's, uh, it's been pretty neat. Ryan, I'm gonna give you your opportunity to, to, to maybe talk about some of the ideas that were thrown on the uh, cutting room floor. <laughs> well, first of all, I've noticed oh, several of the signs, by the way, are missing. So <laughs> <laughs> Yes, they, it's amazing when they got out there and people, my- uh, That's you know, flattering. <laughs> My yeah. email mailbox was full and we're actually going to, uh, we're, we're going to start selling some of them and taking those proceeds and putting them towards the, uh, the town's GoFundMe page. So, um, so that's something that folks should look forward to. We have a press release that's going out in the mountain times, uh, tomorrow. So if you are interested in purchasing one of these great signs, you can do so by going to the, to the, uh, Killington Pico Area Association's, uh, website. But Ryan, you gotta, you gotta throw out a couple of your ideas that just didn't make the cut. Well, the one that, oh, well, okay, all right. It's so really one. All, it's really fun. Let's be real. It's one. First of all, I think hot tubs are just as synonymous with Killington as mountain biking or skiing or golfing or whatever else, hot tubs. And I wanted to stay a hot tub away. And then, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I've got my own personal hot tub. Another one that had nothing to do with Killington, but I thought was hilarious was Rick Astley. Anything to do with Rick Astley. And, um, well, just having Rick Astley's face and just, you know, as, as you drive up or down the access road or up or down Route 4, just getting Rick rolled the entire way. And, like, I, just thinking about Rick Astley just makes me crack up. I, I, I die laughing. So it's <laughs> hilarious. But, again, like Jenny said, you know, we're not trying to, um, we're not trying to discount, uh, you know, the steps that we all need to take keep ourselves healthy, our family, our friends, the community, but just a, 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 a fun way for people to, for it to, you know, kind of engage them and, and uh, keep, keep uh, presence of mind um, as we're going through all this. So, um, you know, I'll throw this out to either one of you. I mean, the sky is the limit to where we want to take um, hashtag one Killington, but we're really hoping that, that people engage with this and, and uh, you know, use it as an opportunity when they see things that they think are, are, are purely uh, and, and uh, you know, definitely Killington to take that opportunity to, uh, to use that tag. So, you know, what do you, what do you think our future is here? What, where do you think we can go from here? Oh Jenny, you want to start? Really, really anywhere we want. And here's where I was actually thinking of opening it up to potentially the community. I mean, we are a small committee of five or six people, depending on who shows up to the meetings. <laughs> but um, you know, we have, and you know, we have great ideas, but I'm sure there are great ideas out there as well. If anybody has any 
any thoughts or, or inspiration that they'd like to share with us, we would love to hear it. Um, you know, I mean, you can do the obvious bumper stickers and, you know, thing, things like that, that, that kind of can represent, <clears throat> you know, uh, your participation in, in our town and everything. But, um, yeah, I think, I think this guy's limited. I want to open it up to everybody. I think it's a, it's a nice opportunity to, um, to focus on, uh, what we have available, um, in town outside of, of Killington, the mountain itself, you know, um, it, it, it is an all encompassing effort, um, uh, whether it's, um, you know, cross country skiing or the golf and, you know, we've got Killington golf course and then we've got Green Mountain National, um, Kent Pond, if you wanted to do, you know, the, the kayaking or paddle boarding, I don't do those things. River tubing is another mm -hmm. thing. The restaurants, the bars, the the uh, the Killington Road, um, you know, uh, retail shops. So, um, you know, we are more than just the mountain. Although, you know, the mountain is the reason why we're all here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 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 recreational lifestyle for sure is the reason why we're all here. So, Jenny Ryan, thank you so much for uh, for sitting down with me. As I said, I'll put that information out about how people can. Um, can get one of the lawn signs and ryan we're looking forward to hearing the announcement as to who the winner is and seeing yeah. those t-shirts come out dude they're gonna be fire fire <laughs> all right all right guys thanks so much thank you bye guys